love them all chicken. How much? This much. <gasps> I love you this much. Oh, thanks. That warms my heart. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Yesterday we built the extension for our chicken coop and so we were just super exhausted. I'm still sore, my fingers are raw. And so when we were done, we were just like, you know what, let's just leave the mess. We'll deal with it later, which means I will be dealing with it today. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my best to kind of clean up around here and I thought I'd bring you guys with me. I also have a couple things that I want to do. I want to do chicken wire on our slope, um, like on the fence that separates ours and our neighbor's yard they have dogs we don't want them to come into our yard if we let our chickens free range and I don't want our chickens to go into their yard if we let them free range so I'm gonna attempt to do that during Jack's nap I just laid him down so we're gonna see how much I can get done in this relatively short amount of time and one other thing that I want to do is I want to just kind of build like a makeshift shelf for the snacks for our chickens and I'll probably just use some of the tools that are out here just to kind of whip something up so that I can throw some snacks and food in this outdoor portion without it getting mixed in with like any poop or anything because I don't want the chickens to like have any contaminated snacks. But first I wanna show you guys what we actually built. So Juan built this main frame and what we wanted was for like the little original chicken run to open up into it so that the chickens could go in this area as well. He built a nice big door cause I was like, what if a chicken dies in there? Like, and we're gonna have to like crawl through the other chicken coop grossness to get over here like I was like we need a way to get into this area so he put a door and I was the one who chicken wired the door and some of the back and then he kind of helped to finish up the rest I also was like under here I laid in their poopy dirt and I staple gunned this chicken wire to the inside of the legs of the coop so that was you know not really fun but I really felt like I had a part in building this whole thing we aren't totally done these things need to be painted and then what I'd like is like a little shelf that protects from rain so that we could hang their feeder things and their water out here so that it's more easy to access. Right now they are actually like up in that other chicken run area so I still have to walk up the hill but if we can create something that will be the ideal situation. But so far this has been pretty fun. Aubrey's enjoyed feeding them like snacks and worms and stuff and it's just so fun to be able to see them like from inside our house too now that they're on this side and we can just kind of see them roaming around. What do you think Aubrey? Do you like our chickens? Mm -hmm. No, how much I love them our chickens? How much? This much. <gasps> I love you this much. Oh, thanks. That warms my heart. But anyways, let's go ahead and kind of build this little makeshift shelf for them.
Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's a cute little shelf. I actually might add a little perch up there, just kind of sticking out in case they want to stand on it. But that's my little shelf right there. I put food on it so they can talk at it and eat it. Yeah. And then I used one of my old little flower tins to secure there. I think I'm going to put these little oyster shells in them so that they can eat these and get some more calcium. And we can just kind of leave that out for the chickies to get at. Yeah. Okay, open up the door and sprinkle it in that little tin. Don't want to open it all the way, right? We don't want chocolate to get out because oh. chocolate is our bird that wants to escape oh. all the time. Chocolate, move, lady. <laughs> okay, sprinkle it in, sprinkle it in. <laughs> Here, I'll do it. No, chocolate. <laughs> Missy, get away. Get away. Here we go. There, you got your oyster shells. You could pick at this if you want. Chocolate, let's get down. Come on, shoo. Okay, Aubrey, pour that in there. Oh, gosh, <laughs> you're too scared of them, huh? <laughs> I'm scared of chocolate. So we can keep the oyster shells in here, but we also may just like sprinkle in some other snacks as well. But again, this kind of like, they kind of eat rocks, I guess, to grind their food since they don't have teeth. Uh, so this kind of helps with that, but it also gives them a lot of calcium so that the shells of their eggs are nice and hard. But let's go ahead and put a little perch up there. So I'm already a little tired. <laughs> that is the, that wood was really hard to like screw into. So I tried my best. There's one screw that I kind of, um, I don't know what the, I forget the, the word, but where you try to screw it so much that it like kind of warps it or I, I forget, I'll put it on the screen. I'll ask Juan. Anyways, we're going to move on and try to chicken wire this fence now. Okay, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Working on that slope was like making my calves burn so much. And then my camera died because it was taking too long and I'm like running out of memory. So huh. I don't know if Jack is still sleeping. I'm gonna get like some nice ice water. And if he's still sleeping, I will like sweep up the mess. Unfortunately, the big thing of chicken wire that we had didn't make it all the way down, but I figured this bottom part would need a little bit more reinforcements anyways. So. I just used like the leftover chicken wire. You can't really tell that it's not, you know, just one piece, but 
you know, what's done is done. I was, I was expecting we'd have at least enough, but we just, you know, missed out on like two feet. So anyways, oh, I'm exhausted and thirsty. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I will let you guys know if, if I don't have time to clean up out here and I'll just make Juan do it. Okay, so it's definitely not perfect, but it is a lot cleaner than it was. Um, I'm gonna call it a day working out here. I'm pretty sore from working on the hill yesterday, so I'm just ready to kind of have a nice low-key day inside the house with my kids. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this motivated you to get some yard work done as well. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.